Hey, it's Pamela. I know that it's been a few weeks since you've seen me. My explanation is this. I was busy working. I got booked a few days and then they kept giving me more days and more days and more days and I had no time to shoot anything. Unfortunately, it's wrapped for the season, but fortunate for you guys, that means that I have time to make content now, so I hope you continue to enjoy my videos, and I hope you didn't miss me too much, because I missed you guys. <laughs> Anyway, I know it's July, but I haven't unboxed my June BoxyCharm yet, so we will be unboxing the June BoxyCharm in July. And you guys have been waiting long enough, so let's get right into it. June's theme was Dare to Dazzle with a focus on pride because June is Pride Month. As usual, I'm going to start off with what my choice item was. I went with the Able Skin Care Hyaluronic Acid Age Recovery Night Cream. I chose this mostly because it is a skincare item and I prefer receiving skincare from BoxyCharm. I love subscription boxes because it's always an opportunity to try new things. But I can't say that the cost of this wasn't what really attracted me to it because it retails for... $114. I do like this. Not sure how I feel about it. Not sure how it works with my skin yet, but most expensive item, of course, I was going to choose it. I'm going to move this off my lap because it's just kind of a nuisance. Next up in the box is the Glam Glow Pore Refining Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. You get 150 grams of this. Like, look at this. You get so much product. It says use a generous amount, but I did that the first time and it was way too much product. Just use the size of a blueberry and that's more than enough. If you're familiar with the Glam Glow masks, this actually looks similar, but it says do not use as a mask. So you take that blueberry size amount, put a bit of water in it, and then you put it on dry skin. And I find that it takes off my foundation really, really well, so I am loving this cleanser. And I find that it's much better than the mask, so if you are interested in Glam Glow, I'd say go for the cleanser, don't bother with the mask, they're overpriced anyway. Next up, we have a primer by Jekka Black. This is a hydrating primer. It says it's vegan friendly and cruelty free. I'm not really familiar with this company, but I know they do stuff for LGBTQA, which I think is great. And of the other primers that I've received in BoxyCharm, this is by far the best. So it basically just looks like a regular face cream. This doesn't ball up or anything, but I find for hydrating primers and stuff like that, that's more something that I want to use in the winter time because I have a tendency to get oily during the summer. So I'm probably going to hold off on using this regularly until it starts cooling down outside because it gets pretty humid out and using a hydrating primer during the summer months. I feel like that's just begging for your makeup to slide right off your face. I feel like it would have had a better place in a winter box, but after looking at their social media, I understand why it would be in the pride theme box. Moving on to the last two products, which are makeup products. First up is Luna Magic Eyelash Primer. It says it's in Vava Pink, but it goes under your mascara anyway, so it doesn't really matter what color it is. Let me show you just how pink this is. In the reviews of this, I saw people were saying, oh my god, it goes on pink. The product's pink, of course it does. And it's a primer, not a mascara, so I think there is some confusion with people. This is actually a really good product. I find that it really lengthens my lashes. I have it on right now. I don't know if you can see. I have the Tarte Man Eater Mascara over top of it, so it gives you very long lashes. This is better than two other primers that I use by high-end brands. Like, I used one by Dior or hated it and I used one by Marc Jacobs and I just found the application to be really kind of gloopy or whatever which I don't experience with this. You don't want to really glob it on your lashes. You want to just put it on lightly because it lengthens. I barely touch my lashes with the wand and it lengthens them so nicely. And last up we have a highlighter palette. I'm kind of highlighted out, so I don't really need this, but I also like this product. It's the Glodiant Makeup Palette by Touch and Soul. I actually have it here. It gives a nice glow. I don't find it blinding, but I don't know. I don't understand the blinding highlighter thing. I think it's better to glow than to shine. 
if that makes sense. You get five shades. The pigment is pretty good, and I feel like they've actually covered every skin tone here, so this should look good on everybody. For some reason, I really like the feel of this palette. I can't explain it. It's also super cute, so... Anyway, in my opinion, this is a great well-rounded box. It's not the most exciting, but call me boring. In my opinion, this is perfect because we have a cleanser, we have a primer, we have skincare, some makeup, and like a, I wouldn't, this is makeup, but it's kind of like a makeup enhancer. So they've covered all their bases with the June box, which I really love. Let's go over prices. So again, $114. The Glam Glow Cleanser is $32. The Jekka Black Hydrating Primer is $20. The Touch and Soul Glodiant Palette is $34. And the Luna Magic Lash Primer is $25, which is a grand total of $225, which is a great value for a box that costs around $30 to $40. I can't remember what the Canadian price is. That's US dollars, so translate that to Canadian and I just have really great value in this box. Let me know what your favorite product was. If you subscribe to BoxyCharm, what was your favorite thing that you got? What didn't you like? Did you think the June's box was good or bad? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's everything for now. Thanks for watching.